<laughs> I actually just hate this Mega Knight deck because if he respawns against everything. You have the Mega Knight for just splash damage of Ghost Bandit for, for pressuring. Arch King is just the best card in Clash of the Bastard. You have the Arch King's uh, counter with the Lightning, e split Snowball to finish off Lava on decks, and just a really weird really synergy. You can kill minions and just a really insane defensive deck, which I absolutely hate. I just killed it against this deck in the last season with my Royal Hawk Side because I faced this deck five times in a row, and I just hate this deck. And today I'm gonna show you why this deck is absolutely OP and needs enough. If you guys like my content, make sure to use Creator Good Morning Shop where you support the channel, support the videos, makes the videos better. And I would say it's time to jump to the games and let's be dump. Go. Here we go, guys. Here in the first game, in today's video, I'm just gonna show you how stupid this Magnite deck really, really is. I'm just gonna sign my ghost in the back. Waiting for honestly for his response. He's just gonna go there. Uh, he's just gonna go for Smine, a slow Morton. So we're just gonna drop our Magite in the back. And you really wanna play slow. And I think most of you guys will agree with me. You're always gonna tell me that Magnite is broken. And yeah, I lost so many games last season to this deck and felt horrible because it feels like if you do one mistake against this Magnite bridge and deck is spell sheep, you already lost the game. So smart people would say, why are you even um, doing mistakes then? Actually, I didn't activate my ability from the queen, but it's fine. I can just go ban it here. Make sure the guard is not gonna get any shot on my tower. And we still have a counter bush. Yeah, he, okay, okay, okay. Need to go royal ghost here. Okay, that's actually horrible. I need to go archer queen. That's more damage than I would have liked to get. Okay, time to use ability here. At least I think, yeah, we're gonna get no damage. Okay, this is gonna be a game where hopefully crush him in double licks at time. I mean, I'm still feeling really confident. Can I cast honestly really good against Mega Knight? But I feel like if you do one mistake, as I said earlier, like 10 seconds ago against the stack, you will straight up lose the game. So I think about just going for an MK in the back. I could also drop my Ram. But the great thing is, even goes mortar. We still have three licks in hand to kite it with a bandit. So I'm just gonna go with a bandit here. Let's go. Bandit is. Gonna do the job. Okay, let's see what he does now. I'm just gonna go for a ram right here. Okay, what is he gonna do next? If he goes in for meanhole, I can just snowball that. Okay, I'm just gonna go for snowballing on top of the guards. Why not? I mean, he doesn't really have enough elixir anyway for his um, minion hot, so we're gonna get a ton of damage. Mega Knight connects, and this is what we wanna see. I could also go in for a lightning here, but I think. Okay, I'm just gonna go lightning here. I'm just gonna go for my bandit. Okay, I'm just gonna go Royal Ghost here. Just wanna make sure that my tower isn't down yet, and it's not down yet. So I can just go for Mega Knight in case, yeah. Goes in for a Mega Knight example. I'm just gonna go for my Mega Knight here. I'm just going for my Eastbird High, and I just need some Lightning and Snowball. Turn down for what? But I can just Snowball. Okay, I think I'm really just gonna Lightning this. Lightning is coming down, let's go. I'm just gonna go snowball here on top of this. This is great. He needs to go defensive minor. I don't really know how much damage, honestly, all this stuff is doing. So I'm just gonna go for pressuring here. The ram that connects is fireball lock enough. I don't really think it's fireball lock in hand. We got a really bad start. We still come back because this deck is impossible to defend. So guys, your next game against Chacha. So what's what is Chacha going to play? We don't really care about that. I'm just gonna go for my warrior goes in the bag. And even like Pack, I would say, is one of the hardest matches you can get. But even this matchup you can actually win because Arch Queen is just broken. So I'm just go for my snowball here. Bandit plus go should be enough. We have the Worm Rider against him, we have the Mega Knight against him, we also have the Snowball to push it back, too. So, let's see. Okay, he plays 2.6 attack. Honestly, this is a match where he can defend really, really well with the Ice Globe and the Cannon. But as I said, it always looks like people have something to defend against us. But this deck, if you do one small slag, uh, slag up, one, uh, one small miss, one small mistake, you're basically gonna lose the game straight up because you cannot keep up. The aggression against this deck because every time we play a tube, I basically get a counter push. So if you place a Hawk Rider, I get a Ram Rider. Um, and this is just like really, really great with this deck. So is it? Don't really understand, honestly, this Hawk Rider. Okay, I'm just gonna go for a Snowball here. I'm also gonna think about just going for Eastward. I think this kills the boy a bit sooner. So we still get it on tower. 
And also, I think I could use a ram now in the back. Why? I'm gonna go ram in the back. This is a good question. Maybe not, because he's just gonna hawk. And I really wanna have, like, a cheaper hawk for counter with the ram in hand rather than going for Magna, because Ram Rider actually defends a hawk rider flawless. Um, I mean, he could still go skulls um, here to support the hawk rider and a ram rider retargets on top of the skulls, but a lone hawk rider gets fully countered by a ram rider, and the Magna doesn't counter it fully. And always gets a shot. Okay, so I just need to go for the ability here. I think. What I'm gonna do right now is just gonna go bandit. I think it's a really great bandit. Oh, what? That wasn't the purpose of the bandit. What? No way, it's also good. What? Okay, that's exactly what I meant with um, getting a hit. But he still needs to lock this and he still needs to commit like to that. That's actually insane. I think in double X time in this uh, control matchups, you can really start off with Magonites, um in the back. Especially with his ice comes out of cycle, I mean, he can really cheaply cycle back to it, but at least he hasn't, he doesn't have a cycle. So I could just go for my bandit here. I'm thinking about just letting some damage go because he also dealt more damage to the left. So I could go for the flawless demons of a snowball, but I think I'm just gonna keep it. So I'm just gonna go for my archer queen here. Okay, now I'm just gonna go here to bridge. I thought he tried to go for the king tower activation, but it looks like he's not. So I'm just gonna pressure him here. He goes in for another cannon. That's insanely good played by him. I'm just gonna go for my ability here. Not bad, sir. Not bad. I can just go for another Magna, to be fair. I'm just gonna keep up the um, the pushes. He goes in for a Snowball, uh, for a Q to cycle. Okay, he doesn't have... Okay, good to know that he doesn't have Fireball. Okay, let's see. I might just go in for World Ghost like this. In case he goes in for an Ice Golem. Snowball. Ram Rider. That's honestly a really good defense. Also, the Bandit connects. He still has to play something. He scores to the full now. Skulls, the Bandit still connects. Bandit bug. People are still want to tell me that it's not a bug. It's a confirmed bug by Supercell. But actually, in this match, the bug is really helping. I mean, against decks like um, Prince, it's really, really bad because the charge doesn't reset the Prince anymore. But again, this matchup is absolutely ridiculous. So I'm just going to go for this. I think the Bandit still dashes, right? It, it would have dashed. So. I'm just gonna go in for my lightning here. Lightning is coming down. Really good lightning, honestly. Okay, I'm just gonna go with my ability here. He needs to go in for an ice golem. But look at this. The queen's at the tower. GG's were played. Nothing he can do. He plays a high skill deck. We play a zero skill deck. And we're still winning him. And yeah, as I said, he can win this match if he plays perfect. But yeah, it's fine to defend one, two, three manga pushes. But the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, just destroying the opponents. Here we go, guys. Your next game, and I'm just gonna give him a good luck and start with a Royal Ghost in the bag. Why not? <coughs> Why not, guys? So I'm just gonna drop my bandit here. Band is actually fine. I'm just go for like this here. Looks like it could be a minor wall breaker deck, which I think the matchup should be okay. Okay, I don't know. I don't get it. I don't really get it. Um, how the heck did the eSpirit hit the recutes but not the um, bats? So I'm just gonna go for this. Okay, is he gonna lock this? No, he doesn't. So we actually get a good connection there. Just going for my ghost. Mm. Okay, Skelly bro. Snowball. Okay, I'm just gonna use the ability now. Perfect timing, I guess. Yes, we get the connection. And this is what we want to see. I'll just go for my really like early bandit. So we're gonna finish off this wall because before they connect, then we are actually being fine. If he decides to go for a knight on top of the band, I would just go opposite line. Because I don't really think he has any card in cycle right now. So we actually we really know um well the opponent cycle. Okay, yes. Okay, maybe I don't really know it well. Okay, that's great. That's for me a really free snowball. Even if that okay, even if gets a shot, I'm fine. I'm just gonna go for this here. Okay, one wall breaker will connect, but we are chilling now. We are really solid like that situation. Um if he goes in, I have my Mega Knight. Okay, I'm just go for my Ram here. Ram on defense actually is fine because he still needs to defend the Ram Rider. With his spear goblins. They should be honestly they, they should be enough, right? They are enough, okay. They are enough. So the question is what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna go back. 
I think so. Just gonna play slowly. Slow. He could go out for his um, recruit spit in the back. Archer Queen. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go Ghost. Okay, I'm just gonna go MK here in front. I'm just gonna decide to e split instead of Snow because I still have my Snowball on offense. Okay, I'm just gonna ban opposite lane. He will drop his Royal Recruits now, I guess. Okay. Time to just snowball. We also get the tower damage we need to hopefully finish off the opponent soon. I'm just gonna go really for a really low MK here. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna E spirit. I'm just gonna go ram here. I think this is a really good E spirit. Let's go. We're actually in lightning range now. That's important. This is key. This is great. I can just go for this here. I still have my. Okay. I have my snowball here. Let's go. Snowball's coming down. Pushes this back. He just says, bam, but I can just lighten the left tower. I also think I could have lightened the right tower to make sure. Yeah, I think we would have, yeah, we would have gotten both towers. GG's were played. Another easy victory as usual. Next game against LD is, yeah, good luck. So I'm just going for my Virgos in the back. Okay, 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 okay. He drops his Packer. So I think I'm just going to go in for my ban. Obviously, Packer, as I said, is one of the matches which you can actually lose. So, yes. That's insane. So, I think what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna go for like this bit to maybe support this in case he drops something. He drops his bandits, I think. Okay. Didn't really change anything. So, I'm just going for my, okay, Archer Queen here. I need to use my ability. And now I'm just gonna MK. The great thing is with the, yeah, with the MK now, the, the Queen actually survives. So, he's kind of forced to play his um, U's on top. Okay, always places like this. Okay, that's also fine. I guess. I think I'm just gonna go snowball here now. Okay, I thought like he made might use his Ewis, so we actually I actually want to also push that ba push back his Ewis, but this is once again tower down. But we actually could also lose our tower here because I don't have my ghost, which would be the best, cheapest answer now. Okay. I think what I'm gonna do right now is just gonna go Arch Queen in the pocket. And use my ability. No, what insane zap. Well played. Well played, buddy. That was a really, really great zap. He actually cancelled my ability. That was absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely well played. Um, Yeah, great timing. Otherwise, we would have gotten a ton of damage because he was way low on an ass on Elixir. So, well played. Kind of saved um, him like 2k damage. <laughs> because Arch is just broken. I just go for my Ghosted Bridge. Pressure him in my Packer. Okay. Problem is I don't have Archer Queen now anymore, which is not that good. So I can just go for Mega Knight in the back, or I need to go for Mega Knight, let's say, in the back. Okay, hmm. Okay. Archer Queen. East Bird. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. Okay. I can just go in for a Ghost here. Man, that's a tough, that's a really tough situation. If you would have gone like that damage, which I... Needing this situation would have been in an okay spot, but right now we're in a really bad spot. Okay, I think I'm just gonna go Mega Knight. I need to Mega Knight into the pack. I cannot really Mega Knight opposite lane, to be fair. That's so unlucky. That's so bad. Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Good. Zap back once again. He's like the best Zap player ever. Ram. He might play another Packer. Okay, this is gonna be quite interesting. He's gonna give us the Fangs. That's toxic, mate. Stop being toxic. For no reason. Ram, kite. Okay, we're still alive in this game. Nobody knows how, but we are. Okay. I'm just gonna go in for my ghost here. I will never give up. Not giving up yet. Okay, I'm just gonna go for this here. I'm just gonna go snowball. Great place. So right now we finally have an arch queen in, in the in cycle. Bandit. Snowball. Okay. 
seems like a good play from him. So I can just go and maybe for this at the bridge in the pocket. Snowball like this. And maybe try to punish him now with this at the ah, That was close. I think we actually could have won this. I mean, Panga is the toughest matchup for the stack. You can still win that if you always go for HP when you pack us. We kind of had a rough side. Maybe I shouldn't have played the queen in the pocket, but it was like an all in play. I wouldn't like I wanted to get the damage. He played a really great set, but still, I think this video just shows how dumb Mega Knight is. Let me know in the comments like what you guys think about Mega Knight, and I would say I'm out. Peace for watching and goodbye, guys.